My fellowship is concerned about understanding left right asymmetry of a made in embryo. So, trying to understand left right asymmetry is quite important for a biological point of view, also for um, understanding disease progression. Um, for instance, uh, problems defining the left right axis in the early embryo uh, leads to different disease states, such as chronic heart disease um, and also heterotaxia. So, trying to get a better understanding of how um, this axis is established will help lay the foundations for later work and trying to understand disease states a little bit better and some treatments that can arise from it. So, um, previous work that's been done to understand left right asymmetry generally uses uh, a lot of animals to do this. I mean, up until recently, and the work I've done previously, there was no other way to um, understand how these axes are established. Um, and usually, go through quite a few animals to try and figure this out and uh, all the different regions that come from it. So, what I've done is taken a different approach. I've used an organoid like model system to do this, and I use gastroids, which is um, a model system we developed a few years ago. Now, gastroids are a little bit different to some of the other organoids that are coming out in that um, small numbers of embryonic stem cells, these are mouse embryonic stem cells, um, are aggregated in culture. And if you leave them for about five or so days and give them a course of blood signaling or other signals at certain, uh, certain times, um, they basically undergo all the patterning events um, that you'd expect in the early embryo. For example, they break their symmetry, they undergo axial elongation, they polarize the gene expression, um, and they also undergo gastrulation like groups, which is something you don't really see in other embryo body culture, for instance. And this is something that we decided we could use um, to try and understand not only the, uh, the early embryo for the anterior and posterior axis of development, but also for the dorsal gland and the left right. Um, which is where it comes into um, for my project. So essentially that's what I'm going to be doing. I'll be using this gastroid technique to try and understand um, how this left-right axis is established in culture and then extrapolate that to what happens uh, in the embryo a little bit later.